got no butt. It's because my nails, it's because my hands do this. That's why I ain't got nobody. Nobody wants to date somebody whose hands look like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I woke up and I had like a whole, I woke up with an alarm and I had like a whole plan. Let me see if I could show it to you. I was going to get up, coffee, gym, work on my backdrops, and then do the book cover out down here at 1 p.m. But I feel like focusing on my book at the moment, so I'm just going to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm going to do my best to upload my paperback and maybe a hardcover book on Amazon because... They say you gotta sell something to make money, right? So, I'm gonna sell my book. Alrighty, so I'm using the... I don't know what it's called, but it's basically like the cover art that's in Kindle. Like, that helps you make the cover art. So here we go. Look, there's a picture of me. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm gonna put a little thing here. I'm just looking at this book here to see, like, um what this person wrote about themselves and what not. I'm so excited. <sighs> the suspense is killing me. Yeah, so this is still happening. I've got to bring this down. Um, I tried to change it, but it's not working. So, got to figure this out. I feel like there's an easier way to do what I'm doing. I just keep like uploading it and changing it to see if I can get the pages right and then uploading it again. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, just doing it how I know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so it's showing that my printing costs are going to be $2.33 per book. Is that Canadian? Maybe it's Canadian. So we'll save and continue. This is so exciting. Ensure that it looks like you made some changes to your measure. Okay. Save and continue. Lord have mercy. Yep, I'm just going to promote my book. Um, all territories. Select the territories for which you hold distribution right. All territories. Primary marketplace, Amazon.com. Okay, here's where I do my pricing. Wow, I can charge $250 for this? <clears throat> okay, so, uh, royalties is 60%, I guess. So I will charge sixteen ninety nine for this. No, I'll do twelve ninety nine. How much is my royalty? Five dollars and forty six cents. That's not a lot. Fine. Charge. Nineteen ninety nine. That's better. Nine sixty six. All righty. Should I charge all change all these to ninety nine cents at the end? Oh, that's USD. Okay. Fine. I'll charge sixteen. 99 786 I don't know how much that's Canadian but I think that's probably around seven dollars or ten dollars where's Canadian oh 1061 okay good okay I'm gonna change all these to 99 cents at the end so I changed them all to 99s except for this one I don't even know where this is. Where is this? JP? I don't know where that is. Anyways, and now I am going to publish my paperback. 
I'm so excited. I am a published author. Yay. Next, we'll review your book and ensure blah, blah, blah. Takes up to 72 hours. Okay. sixteen ninety nine USD. That's a good price. I'm going to buy one right away. I need to celebrate with some iced coffee. I'm not going to drink to celebrate. I'm going to go to the gym and pool as soon as it becomes light outside. Rise, sunrise. I'm ready for my day. So, doing things in a different order than I wrote last night, but that's okay because I'm still getting stuff done. Maybe I could set up my backdrops, even though ugh, it's such a daunting thing, but then I'll know if I don't have to worry about backdrops for my event. I really don't feel like setting up my backdrops, but I have to for my nonprofit bebe. So I'm going to break it into like <clears throat> half and half. I'm going to pull out all the equipment, like the stand and get the backdrops down and set them up and then go to the gym. And then when I come back, I'll actually set them up. So bite size it. It's a huge elephant. So it literally took like seven minutes, three minutes, five minutes to get this stuff prepped. I don't know why it's so daunting in my mind, but just got to get the ball rolling sometimes. God, I've never stopped any of this. So it's really sticky, right? The resources we have, which is these are the skill sets and, and, and the individuals that we have that work for us. We know that we could create this product line, we call your product line, but service line, um, with little investment. Right? We didn't have to do a ton of stuff there. Right? Whereas when I started the supplement company, that was a huge undertaking. Um, that probably wasn't the wisest decision. I, I was fortunate that we were able to maneuver it, and now it's a very, very healthy business. But it took, I mean, but it was very hard, and I probably shouldn't have done it. That way. Right? I should have thought, like, okay, well, they also want um, someone to run their ads for them. So that's going to be our done for your agency side. So we're going to add that in. Right? And again, each of these, like, this, hopefully this makes sense to you delineating these things. It's like, these are the types of services so I just added this gather work materials because hey what's the spec here darn it because um I have to sponsor gift bags so I need my Khalil's kids um folder I need to do my financial report so I need my synergized community bank statement folder I already gathered the materials to look at the backdrops. I gathered the materials. I have my gym bag packed and ready to go by the door. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do my best to get into the habit of doing that every day. I'll add that to my today, um, every day file. So, I'm going to add that every day. I'm going to add YouTube and gather um, work materials. Hey, can't get out of there. You're ruining my shot. I also applied to Via Rail Canada or whatever it's called to be a remote worker. So that'd be nice if I got a remote job. Yep. Yeah, this is confusing as hell. But I hope it works out. I'm at the doctor's office for my appointment. Um, and look at this view. Wow, look at it's so beautiful. And they give oh shoot, oh bad angle. 
and they gave me this gift bag with some stuff in it. Let's take a look. Dove shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> I need that actually. Toothbrush. <gasps> Chocolate. Look at how cute it's wrapped. More candy. What's this? Walmart gift card. Woohoo! And some toothpaste. That's very thoughtful. Back to looking for a job. I'm going to apply to Barris Dev and see if I can get a remote job. I have to answer questions like this. Crazy. I got 21 minutes for 20 questions. John chose four numbers. The average of the four numbers is nine. If three of those numbers are five, nine, and 12, what is the fourth number? <coughs> okay. This is the next assessment. And it's going to take 45 freaking minutes. The last one took 25. <laughs> ah. I don't like questions like this. I don't want to use my freaking brain. I think the answer is 244 because when you go 37 minus 10, it's 27. 82 minus 37 is 63. Anyways, when you see like all of the numbers that they minus, I'll have 18 in between. So I think it's 244. This is the freaking worst. Hmm. So I think it's, what is this minus this equals negative two. So negative one minus negative one equals negative two. Something to uplift my spirit. Luke has blue balls. Oops. Luke has blue and red balls. Uh-huh. You getting frisky, Luke? Every day he wins two blue balls. That's not a win, Luke. That's not a win. All the shenanigans and I still can't figure it out. Is this what school was like? I'm just going to guess 48 because, you know, that's the age my dad died at. So it's got some meaning to it. 25 minutes. I spent 20 minutes on three questions. Jesus Christ. So I worked on that for about an hour and 10 minutes and there was still like an hour of intense, ridiculous questions left. So I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> Just got a Quran for free off of Facebook Marketplace. It's an English one. I usually get people to meet me at my house, but um, I didn't know if it was like some kind of like militant, um, like organization that gives out free crowns and then murders the people because they're like Christian or something like that, you know? Who knows? So, just better safe than sorry. Well, I wonder if Business Bumble is like a sneaky, low-key way to date. Because I just invited a stranger over to my house. Might not be the best idea, but if God has a plan to murder me through Business Bumble, I will be murdered. Um, and uh, yeah, I got kind of like... A little flirty and I'm like I'm trying to keep this professional and then he was like did this with my hair and looked into my eyes and then I'm like hell no and then when he was leaving he went and I was like no come on business bumble business <laughs> anyways 
guess maybe I should just only focus on being business friends with women or something. Is that what I have to do? But I'm not going to lie, he was kind of cute, like a big teddy bear. And he was wearing my favorite colors. Well, my favorite colors from a couple years ago. Pink and blue. It is Wednesday, December 20th. I've been awake since like 5 a.m. It's about 7.30 right now. And I just applied to another job at BC Housing. And I woke up, I messaged somebody the other day asking if they knew anybody that had a job. And they messaged me back. So I keep going back and forth. Get a job, don't get a job, get a job, don't get a job. <sighs> just apply. I'll just apply every now and then. and Keep doing my work and see what happens. Anyways, so I have my day. Um, I have my day. Hey, where'd it go? planned out so contact black women expo peeps book launch I'm gonna type up 10 pages right now I'm gonna type up 10 pages of this I already started and this is the book that I'm gonna sell at my next book launch so yeah Okay, so it took me 30 minutes, actually 23, but I'm just rounding it up to type 10 pages. So now I'm going to count how many pages are left in my journal that my brother gave me. Isn't he sweet? Looks homemade. It's pretty awesome. Anyways. I'm going to count how many pages I have left to type and then see how many hours it's going to take me to type up this journal so I can know when it should be done in how many days. I just checked um, my um, <sighs> my ebook went live just now. Submitted on September 20th. That's today. And now I'm just waiting for my paperback. I don't know if I should change the the price so that they're both Canadian, but just waiting for my paperback to go live. Oh my God. And um, so I took all the pictures out, but eventually I want to do um, a book where uh, the pictures are included and maybe that will be a little bit more expensive or something. Or maybe it'll just be the same price. I don't know. Who knows? So there's an option for me to view it on Amazon. Oh, I'm going to view it on Canadian Amazon. Oh my god, my book! This is crazy. I can't believe it. Huh, now, do I have to get a Kindle or like read with our free app? What? Rude? Free? What the hell? Read for free? What the hell? Why is it being for free? I don't get it. What? Let me see what this is. Oh, three month deal. Renews at nine ninety nine afterwards. Okay. So if you're just buying it by itself, I guess. Oh my god. I don't know if this is the best book cover, but looks kind of interesting and then when you zoom in on it. Hey, where's the A in brain? Brain manipulation machine? Give her a gasm and make her knees cold. What shall we do to her? <laughs> you're so funny, Kathleen. You're so funny. Not. You're not funny. It's not face. Alrighty. So, um, I have 119 pages left. So I rounded it up to 120 pages, divided it by 30 minutes, so that equals four hours of typing left. If I do 30 minutes a day, that's eight days I should have it done. So I'll just put that in my calendar. <sighs> I'm going to have a smoothie. I'm feeling a little bit anxious and out of sorts. So I'm going to have a Vegas smoothie with ginger 
and un banan to see if it'll help me not feel so anxious so that I can keep working. Then I gotta go to the rec center. So, I'm gonna have some cheap coffee, my favorite can. Voila, problem solved. No longer tired, but we'll be commencing the anxiety right quick. This will be my mental stability in a few moments after I drink this coffee and go out in public and see a bunch of people. They're bubbling over. Just heating up. And not in like a healthy kind of like hot water like drink it soothe yourself kind of way. Like a, oh my god there's so many people here. I don't want to do anything. I'm anxious. I'm sad. I'm depressed. Woe is me. I, I'm going to go write in my gratitude journal because I've been feeling really sorry for myself lately. So I'm going to write in my gratitude journal. And would you look at this? I haven't written in here since November 26th. That's almost a month. That's not a, that's not enough gratitude in my life. All right. That felt really good. So let me read them to you. I'm happy I am starting to have a routine. I'm happy I had a fun weekend last week. I'm happy I can go to the rec center. I'm happy someone told me I'm beautiful yesterday. I'm happy my YouTube mentor said I'm going to blow up. Yeah. And one sad thing, because I think I like to allow myself a sad thing, but next time I'll say it at the beginning, but I'll never write it down because I don't want to crystallize it, is that I'm sad that I keep oscillating between having a job and not having a job and that I don't have the confidence to just make up my mind that I'm going to stick with my own business. But, you know, uh, when you're just eating rice and chickpeas and eggs every day, and dollard fried chicken. Don't tell anybody about that one. It's hard, you know? And also, I can't, like, treat people out without... Like, I treated my um, sister to breakfast the other day, and it cost $63. And I thought I was going to faint, honestly. I was like, this is how much stuff costs. I'm never going out to eat again. Got some coconut oil and honey. In my cheap ass coffee, and it tastes delicious. And hopefully, this really does work that this is gonna make the high and euphoria of this coffee last longer. Mm, it looks so pretty. Looks so pretty. It bubble leveling. There was a little bit too much coconut oil in that one, and it made me do one of these. So I had to dilute it a little bit. So. Ew. Let us feast. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. That was an adorable movie. This filthy bird wagging its butt in the air, trying to shit on my head. Scoundrel, don't give me the side eye. You mf'er. I'd like to sing a little song about my life. It goes a little something like this. I ain't got nobody. I ain't got nobody. But who cares because, oh, look at my nails. Just got them done. Can you tell? They got sparkles. Can't really tell, but. Ain't got no It's cause my nails it's cause my hands do this. That's why I ain't got nobody. Nobody wants to date somebody whose hands look like this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I really hope I don't have to build a wood house because I feel like, you know, fire hazard. Cement structure stays standing, you know? I'm kind of in a good mood. I don't know why, but I'm happy about it. I'm super happy about it. It could be my nails. Oh, that's why. Sometimes to like wane off the want for children, I just go like, putrid little children. Look at these parents. They don't even want to be there. You know, and then that way, if I tell my stuff, stuff, self stuff like that, then maybe I won't want to have children. You know, 
It hasn't worked so far. I still want them, but oh, look at those putrid little children. Oh my God, I'm late for my bus. <laughs> I wish, right to your doorstep. Anyways, I just tried calling three people. Nobody answered. I ain't got nobody. Oh, almost got hit by a car again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go to Walmart and see if they have a, a board game I can buy. And I'm gonna have board game nights once a week so I'm not so lonely and pathetic. My inner monologue says, you should probably buy food with that, you know? Eggs, chickpeas, oil, red onion. And then my higher power says, buy the game. Relationships equal happiness, you know? I can starve a little bit. I'm trying to lose some pounds anyways, so. This is where I got my Quran, also known as Karen. <laughs> Who could I mail a letter to? I feel like it's been a long time since I've mailed a letter, you know? It's very important for my mental health. Isn't this burgundy dress beautiful? It's beautiful. I want it. Anyways, there's a snot-nosed little brat sitting in my feet. Yeah, so I'm treating myself to a delicious chicken goddess bowl. Yum yum. I'm gonna have to go ahead and say whoever um, created this fork <clears throat> didn't really do a good job because like, it's paper. It's made out of paper. So, it's not even a good spoon, really. So, anyways, poor design. No offense, whoever invented this. The thought that counts. Except for I can't eat now. Just joking, I ate the whole goddamn thing. The high is gone, and I'm feeling a little bit uh, as usual with me. You know, what can I say? So I'm going to edit this video together and then me and my friend are going to value village with her baby. Yeah. I think it's all that junk I ate yesterday. I ate that Annie's macaroni and cheese and I ate that, um, like I got all these little like chocolate bars, like Arrow and Kit Kat and Mars bars. And I just, I never eat that stuff. And I actually was just like, I just yummed it down, you know? So anyways, should I do my hair? I don't feel like it. I'm gonna go out looking like a lunatic. <laughs>